You know, every once in a while, a story pops up that just, well, it defies any easy explanation. Down in a small town in Colombia, something fell out of the sky. But here's the thing, it wasn't a crash, it wasn't a meteorite, it was something else. Today, we're diving deep into the mystery of the Bugosphere. And that's the big question, isn't it? The one that's got everyone, from serious scientists to late-night ufologists and, well, pretty much the entire internet, completely captivated. It all kicked off with this one object that just appeared in the skies over South America, and boy, did it start a debate that is still going strong. Okay, so, let's rewind a bit. Where did this all begin? We're starting right at the very beginning, at the moment of discovery, and tracing how this went from a local curiosity to a full-blown international phenomenon. So check this out. It all started in March of 2025. Videos started popping up online showing this thing slowly coming down from the sky over Buya, Colombia. A few days go by, and then, boom, a real, physical, metallic sphere is just found sitting there on the ground. Within weeks, the story just exploded. Everybody wanted a piece of the mystery. And right here, this is the first clue that tells you something is different. Eyewitnesses weren't talking about a fireball streaking through the atmosphere or some huge impact crater. No, they all described a slow, controlled, almost gentle descent. It's like it wasn't so much falling as it was arriving. And that one detail? It makes trying to explain this away as just space junk way, way harder. But the way it landed is just the start. The real mystery ramps up when you actually look at the object itself. Once investigators finally got their hands on it, the puzzle just got bigger and more complicated. So what exactly is the Bugosphere? I mean, the sphere's properties are just a list of contradictions. At a glance, it's a simple metal ball. But then you find out it seems to be hollow. And get this, there are no seams, no welds, no rivets, no entry points at all. It's like it was formed as one perfect single piece. They've tried to scratch it, to dent it, nothing. And maybe the weirdest part of all? It gives off this constant low humming sound. And look, this isn't just wild speculation from folks online. We're talking about people with decades of experience in material science who are absolutely stumped. This quote from a consultant working on the project just perfectly captures that sense of total bewilderment that even the experts are feeling. And just when you thought it couldn't get any stranger, it does. A video went completely viral that seems to show the sphere reacting to sound, specifically to ancient Sanskrit chants. Now, to be clear, this is totally unverified by the official scientific team, but the claim alone has fueled this massive public fascination and added this whole other, almost mystical layer to the story. So all of this, the weird properties, the bizarre videos, it all funnels down into one giant question. How in the world do you explain it? And let me tell you, the world is divided, with theories that run the gamut from the totally mundane to the absolutely extraordinary. So is there a simple, rational, earthly explanation that we're all just missing? Or is the Bugosphere something else? Something that could fundamentally change how we see our place in the universe? The theories really are split into two big camps. On one side, you have all the extraterrestrial ideas. Maybe it's an alien probe sent here for surveillance, a piece of mind-bendingly advanced tech, or some kind of navigational beacon. Then, on the other side, you have the more grounded, terrestrial explanations. It's just a piece of a satellite, it's a super elaborate hoax, or maybe it's even a really provocative piece of modern art. Okay, so let's step away from all the noise and speculation on social media for a minute. Behind the scenes, a very serious scientific investigation is going on. Researchers are methodically trying to strip away all the theories and just get to the hard facts. And the process is incredibly careful. First, they just had to secure the thing, and that was no joke. There was actually a bold attempt by armed men dressed as police to steal the sphere. That alone tells you how valuable some people think this thing is. Now, with it secured, they're using things like x-rays and sonograms to peek inside without damaging it, taking tiny microscopic samples to figure out what it's made of, all before they share their findings for the whole world's scientific community to review. And really, this is the billion-dollar question. The entire mystery could pivot on what they find out from these material tests. I mean, if the sphere is made of a known alloy, using a technique we understand, then the earthly explanation suddenly looks a whole lot more likely. But if it's something else, well, that changes everything. You know, as strange as this all is, it's not completely out of the blue. It turns out the Bugosphere is just the latest in a pretty long line of mysterious spaceballs that have been puzzling people for decades. 
To really get the Bugosphere, you gotta look at its most famous ancestor, the Bet Sphere, found way back in 1974. The similarities are kinda spooky. It was also a metallic sphere that, according to the family that found it, vibrated, moved all on its own, and reacted to sound. Now, the official explanation ended up being that it was probably just industrial equipment, like a big ball bearing, but that answer has never really satisfied everyone who looked into it. And there are plenty of other cases. There was a sphere in Namibia back in 2011, another one in Mexico in 2022. Both of those were eventually identified as pressure tanks from rocket stages. And that's the common thread here. Most of these mysteries do eventually get solved, and the answer almost always turns out to be man-made space junk. So this history gives you a pretty strong reason to be skeptical. Which brings us right back to today. Is the Bugosphere just the next case in a long line of explainable space debris destined to be identified as, I don't know, apart from a forgotten satellite? Or do its really unique properties, that seamless design, the controlled descent, the constant hum, do they mean that this time the answer is going to be different? That is the question investigators are racing to answer. And the rest of us, well, we're all waiting.